Republican Donald Trump has won the 2024 presidential election, becoming the first convicted felon elected to the nation's highest office. He is also the first former president since Grover Cleveland to return to the White House after being voted out of the job. The 78-year-old is the oldest person in U.S. history to be elected president, and his victory caps one of the longest general election campaigns ever, which included two assassination attempts. Here's what Trump has said he would do in his second term. On day one, I will launch the largest deportation program in American history. A central campaign promise was deporting millions of migrants, which would likely trigger legal challenges. He has said he will employ the National Guard and, if necessary, federal troops as part of the effort. If I run this country, if I'm going to be president of this country, I'm going to put a 100, 200, 2,000 percent tariff. Trump has floated the idea of tariffs on all goods imported into the U.S., targeting China in particular. Critics say that would lead to higher prices for American consumers and global economic instability. No tax on tips. Trump has promised a blizzard of tax proposals and said he wants to extend the Trump tax cuts that he signed in 2017. But several prominent budget forecasters have estimated Trump's tax cut plans would add as much as $6.6 .6 trillion to federal deficits over a decade. We're going to drill, baby, drill. Trump has vowed to increase U.S. production of fossil fuels and said he will reauthorize oil drilling in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge in Alaska. He also has said he will again pull the U.S. out of the Paris Climate Accords. And I think uh, if we win, I think we're going to get it resolved very quickly. Trump, who has been critical of U.S. support for Ukraine in its war with Russia, said he could end the conflict in 24 hours if elected, although he has not said how he would do that. Trump has also said the war between Israel and Hamas should end quickly, but has offered no proposals for how to do that either. Everybody wanted it back in the States, and I did that. Trump has said bans on abortion should be up to states, and if they choose, could monitor women's pregnancies and prosecute them if they undergo the procedure after the period permitted. He appointed three justices to the U.S. Supreme Court who were part of the conservative majority that overturned Roe v. Wade protections and would likely continue to appoint federal judges who would uphold limits on abortion. We have an enemy from within. Trump has said he could use federal law enforcement agencies to investigate political opponents and has threatened to make firing federal workers easier with an executive order. He has said he would fire special counsel Jack Smith, the federal prosecutor leading the criminal probes into his alleged mishandling of classified documents and his attempts to overturn his 2020 election defeat. He has also said he will consider pardoning all of those who have been convicted of crimes in connection with the January 6, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. Trump became the first former U.S. president to be convicted of a crime in May after a New York jury found him guilty of falsifying business records to cover up a payment to silence a porn star during his 2016 campaign. He is still scheduled to be sentenced for that conviction on November 26th, and the judge could decide to send him to jail.